Hello, all you digital fighter pilots. Sporty's flight simulation department has been getting a lot of requests on how to configure the Honeycomb Bravo to the popular FA-18 Super Hornet in Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So we figured let's go ahead and just create a video. Now this video will be based off of the Honeycomb Bravo with the commercial two engine jet configuration. So that means lever one is gonna be our speed brakes. Lever two is not in use, down and covered. Lever three is engine one. Lever four is engine two. Lever five is not in use, down and covered. And lever six is going to be our flaps or flaps axes. If you've got that set up on your Honeycomb Bravo and you follow what we do today, you'll be able to operate the F-18 Super Hornet. So let's go ahead and get started by heading on over to the Options tab from our homepage. And then we'll go to our Control Options page. And this is where we can access all the devices plugged in to Microsoft Flight Sim. We're going to start with the Bravo Throttle Quadrant in the default setting, which is configured for a multi-engine GA aircraft. So that means two throttle, two prop, two mixtures. We're going to begin by clearing out all the commands that the levers currently send. So I'm going to begin by heading on over to our power management area. We'll go to throttle and let's start clearing these out. So clear current input, validate, and then here we're able to go ahead and define what we want this new profile to be. I'm going to set it up for the FA-18. And that way whenever I want to pull up this quick command setting, it's evident and available under my Bravo Throttle Quadrant profiles. So again, we'll continue on just cleaning out all the throttle commands that our Honeycomb Bravo currently sends to Microsoft Flight Simulator. You'll see with the Assign tab chosen on the left, as I clear these out, they will disappear. It's a helpful way to make sure everything we've wanted to remove from the program disappears as we uh, roll through and clean it up, make it a blank canvas, if you will. So here we are taking care of the propeller settings and now we've got those last is mixture and it is a little tedious just clicking on everything clearing it out and validating but to make sure that it, we're not sending any incorrect commands it is worth it in the long run all right so now we've cleaned out throttle prop mixture the levers aren't going to send any information uh, one final thing i want to do is clean out our flaps so we'll go to our uh, increase and decrease flaps. I'm going to remove these from the program also and that's removing commands from that little flap lever on the far right of our Honeycomb Bravo. Okay so we've removed everything we want. Let's go to the all command here and now let's start reapplying commands. So I'm going to start with throttle. We'll type in uh, throttle on the search bar and we're going to look for throttle and axes. Now here we still have another leftover command, the auto throttle. Let's clean that out also, just to make sure there's no conflict between what previously was there and what we now want. So again, we're scrolling down to the throttle one axes. Here we go. And I'm going to go ahead and select this box right here. I'm going to start my scan and I'm going to slowly move the lever. That's engine one. That's lever three and it recognizes, okay, that's what we want our throttle one axes to be. We'll validate it, and now when I move that lever, it affects throttle one. Something worth mentioning is we want to get rid of the reverse axes box. That way when I go full throttle on my Bravo, it sends the full throttle indication to the program. Worth mentioning for the throttles. Let's do the same for our throttle two axes. Start our scan, moving the engine two lever, and there we are, that is right axis Y. Let's make sure it's sending that command. Let's uncheck the reverse box and we are all set on the throttles. Okay, the next thing I wanna configure are afterburners. I want the afterburners in the Honeycomb Bravo to be initiated with the reverse thruster levers that are on the back side of the commercial levers on the Honeycomb Bravo. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we will start the scan for toggle afterburner one, just so I can have individual afterburners, not uh, both set at once. And that way, when we retract that thrust reverser lever on the backside 
of the commercial levers, it'll initiate afterburners. I just had a little trouble there. Let's try one more time. There we go. Afterburner one is button 10. And now when I again pull back that little switch on the back of my uh, engine one, we get afterburners. Let's do the same for afterburner two. Engine two, afterburner set, okay. Confirmed, all right. Next, let's go to spoiler axes. So we'll type that into the search bar. And the program recognizes it as spoilers. Uh, on our lever, it says air brake, tomato, tomato type thing here. So we'll start our scan of the spoilers axes. That is left axes Y. So now when I move that piece, it'll indicate. On the spoilers, we do want reverse axes checked. Don't ask me why, but that's how we make sure it operates the way it's preferred. So spoilers are set. Let's go do flaps now. We'll type in flaps and we're looking for flaps axes. All right, and then start our scan. And I wanna configure this to lever six, which is where our flaps lever is. We'll validate. And this one also, we wanna make sure that reverse axes box is checked. The lever is sending information, so we're set there. Final thing I wanna do is toggle parking brakes. That is always a challenge, so we're gonna set a button to that. Here's our toggle parking brakes, and I'm gonna set this as the toga, the red button, on engine one's control lever. So I'm starting my search, I hit that little red button, that's button 30. So now whenever I hit that little red button on the left side of the commercial lever one, it's gonna disengage or engage our parking brake. All right, so we'll save it. And let's go ahead, jump into the aircraft and see how these new commands operate with the F-18 Super Hornet. All right, so here we are at Cincinnati Airport on uh, runway nine, we're in the F-18 Super Hornet. Engines are running, parking brake engaged. Let's go ahead and look down at our throttles, which is the focus of today's video. And let's go ahead and test throttle one, full forward, pull afterburner mode, clicks forward. There we go. Let's do the same for engine two. Full forward, click afterburner, check. Those work as I would like. The spoiler axis is not in here. Let's do our flap axes. You'll see just beneath the red handle, that little flap switch starts to move. Okay, we're all set there. And then let's test our parking brake. The red toga button on engine one, that operates as I'd like. Let's move outside the aircraft. All right, so here you can see our engine indicators on the left. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in just so we have a little bit of better view. Let's go engine one test, full forward, after burner mode, confirmed. Let's do the same for engine two. All right. Engine two and afterburners operate as I'd like. Let's do our spoilers. Okay, you'll see those on top of the aircraft. And let's test our flaps. All right, flaps are in motion according to how I'd like. Okay, so all the commands that I wanted are set. I'm gonna go ahead and take off in afterburner mode. I've disengaged the parking brake. Let's go full throttles and click those afterburners to give everyone in Cincinnati a early wake up. So I hope this video helped you out. Maybe it'll allow you to better enjoy the Honeycomb Bravo in tandem with the FA-18 Super Hornet. And from all of us here at Sporties, have fun digitally flying.